Right, so you've got one radiator that's not heating up. Yep. You can try this. Okay, so this is your TRV head. This particular one is a, they look like this, Drayton RT212. So it's fixed the radiator with this collar, which you can twist off by hand, but usually they're a little bit stiff to start off. So you get a pair of grips on it just to loosen it off. And I will unscrew as so. And the new one, you gotta make sure it's turned all the way up to the top. And then screw it on by hand once again. And that's it. Right, so how the radiator valve works, there's a pin at the top. And when the pin is pressed down, it'll stop the water going into the radiator. When the pin is up, it'll allow water into the radiator. Now, inside the valve here, there's a hammer, and there's also a spring in the top of the valve. And as the room warms up, the spring will expand and push the hammer down, and that then will push the pin down. Now we can test if the pin, there's another spring inside here keeping the pin up. Um, another reason the radiator might not be heating up is if this pin is actually stuck down, but we can test it by just pushing. We can see this one's fine. Now, as we, as we turn the radiator valve down, so we want the, the room to be at a lower temperature. Yeah. This actually moves that, if you can see, moves the hammer down. So the radiator will turn off at a lower room temperature if we turn this down. Now this, this valve is, is failed. I'm pushing, oh, it's hard to do with one hand, but this, if you can see the hammer is already, is already all the way down, yeah. even though we've got it on number six. Yeah. So as I turn it, that's not moving. So no, it's just keep, all the way down. Yeah, it's keeping the radiator off all the time. All right. So once again, we get these from. So basically, the, the valve is not not going up and down as it should. That's right. Yeah, it's it's pushed all the way. It's pushed all the way down, even though we got a number and stick. So it, should come it won't come up. No. Yeah. So we can get these from screw fix. And then just once again, let's tighten them up by hand. You don't need to get a tool on it to tighten it up. But we just make sure it's on number six when you put it on. Okay. All right, so for the interest of science, we're going to have a little look to see what's inside here. I mentioned about that spring. It was quite hard to see, but... There's your spring with there, and this is what's called a wax cartridge. So this is full of wax. And if you can see, the wax can be compressed. Now this is actually what expands with the heat causes that hammer to move up and down. 